Bonjour à tous, hey everybody. So today I went to classes, which was good, and it is one of our group members' birthday again. Abby is now turning 21, so I'm gonna go out with her and it's gonna be great. We're all gathering and going to have fun. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I did today other than read more manga because I am now obsessed. I have been mulling this idea around in my head for a while, and I think it's a good one. So far, these have really just been updates on my day, on whatever I'm thinking about, and it's not planned. It's me talking to the webcam. It is me rambling. And I want to change it up a little bit. Kind of like what a typical vlogger would do. And I have an idea for the first one, and I'm going to try it out here. If you like it, great. If not, you're going to have a really boring video every day of me recounting what I did and telling you what I learned in classes. Is it good? Yeah, it's fine. But I want to try something different and change it up. So we're going to do that. So today, I have for you a few reasons for why I should be a superhero. Okay, now, hear me out, hear me out. I know I am only five foot one. That, that is a fact. I know that I'm not the most intimidating figure in the world. I also know that having a public YouTube channel is going to defeat the purpose of this. However, however, there have been a lot of comic books and a lot of movies and a lot of cartoons that portray superheroes as these kinds of people and this is why I would totally fit in. Reason number one. So, in a lot of cartoons and a lot of the comics and almost all of the, the movies there has been a scientific explanation for why they are the way they are, why they have their powers that they have, why they were able to do the things they're doing. Superman is an alien. Peter Parker got bit by a radioactive spider. And Batman isn't super powerful, but he is intelligent, number one. Number two, he's trained in martial arts. Number three, he uses tools rather than superpowers to get him where he needs to go. So, number one, you don't need superheroes to be a hero. Yay, I'm normal. Number two, the most interesting reason I found out that superheroes happen is because they are mutants. Now, mutation is actually a pretty normal thing in human life. Having blue eyes is a mutation. Having blonde hair is a mutation. This, These are two mutations that I have and usually superheroes only need one. I have two and they're caused by an overarching mutation. I am part albino. Now, some people are going to be like, part albino, you can't be part albino. Yes, you can. There is a thing called albinism variancy, and you will only need two-thirds of the albinism genes to be turned on in order to be considered someone with albinism variancy. I have this. It's why my eyes are the way they are. It's why my hair is the way they are. It's why I'm as pale as I am. It's also why I am probably going to get skin cancer and that I wear glasses. But lots of superheroes wear glasses in their normal disguises. Are you feeling me? Are you feeling me? I am a mutant, a verifiable mutant. It's not just that I'm blonde and blue eyed. I am part albino. That's about as mutant as you can get. Also, I'm not just albino, I'm only part albino. So, and that is in his, in his elf, a weird mutation. That puts me on par with superheroes, doesn't it? I am a mutant. 
And like Batman, I have also trained in martial arts. I have trained in four of them. Four. Four. Okay? I have all these recommendations. This is reason number two. So to be a superhero, you have to have a sense of honor. You have to have a sense of needing to protect someone for the greater good. You have to be able to put others over yourself every time. That sense of honor and that sense of idealism is only found in certain personality types. And there is one called sometimes the idealist or the healer, INFP. They're incredibly rare. And that happens to be my Myers-Briggs personality type. I will go out and say I am an idealist. I will dream of a utopia, even knowing that utopia is Greek for no place. That Thomas More wrote that pamphlet, wrote that book, based on the fact that that place cannot exist. I will fight for a better world, knowing that it might not turn out the way I wanted it to. That is a huge part of being a hero. It's putting your values over another set. And that's something that needs to work because these heroes are vigilantes. They need to have their own sense of morals. They don't do everything by the book. So they follow their own. You have to have your own compass and you have to be strong enough to go about it. And I think I can handle it. And we've already previously established that I can kick ass anyway. So, I can totally do this. I can totally do this. To conclude, I should be a superhero. And I should have a really cool name. And I should be the hero of Cincinnati since that is my hometown. I could do it. Mom, Dad, why was I not put in the X-Men school? There, clearly, there was something missing and going wrong. I could do it. I could do it. I'm gonna see a blonde chick in a cape. It's gonna be me. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. But I could do it. <laughs> I could be a superhero, and I have just explained why. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos kind of like this with a planned outline with structure, uh, hit that like button and click subscribe to see my next videos and we'll see if I can keep this up every day. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are and I hope that this video made you smile or laugh in some kind of way because let's be real, no superhero is five foot one. This is your fault, Mom. <laughs>